this is a way to show you how to decrease at the beginning and the end of the row so you get the decreasing going in line with the knitting so this is very good for neck decreases so and also um, armhole decreases I do all my decreases one stitch in from the edge because it makes it good for picking up stitches when you come to pick up stitches for the neck or if this is a decrease at the end of an armhole row then that's good for mattress stitch when you're coming to sewing together. So to do your decreasing at the beginning of a row knit one stitch and then you're going to do the slip one knit one pass slip stitch over. So slip the stitch knit wise, knit one, pass slip stitch over and you're decreasing now so you don't need to um, make one or take yarn over. So now we're going to knit to the end of the row and when you're decreasing at the end of a row you knit two together. So when you decrease at the beginning of a row it's slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over and when you come to decrease at the end of the row, like I said, I decrease one stitch in. So you knit to the last three stitches, knit two together, knit one. And then you get your decreases angled in 